Hello, good people of YouTube, and today with the Azure Lane collaboration, uh, many a new Pixel Boat were released, but most of them are just straight up copies of ships that already existed in the game, like the Latoro. It's literally the Roma. It's literally the same ship, as far as I know, as far as I've seen. Uh, but there's a few that are actually quite different from their versions that are that are already in the game and the Savesky uh, Rossia, uh, Rossia, Rossia? How do you say it? Um, it is quite different from the Savesky Soyuz in more than a few ways. So what this is, it's actually the A hull and the B hull in one. It has the AA and health of the A hull Soyuz, but the maneuverability of the B-Hull Soyuz, and it does not have the normal um, Russian battle uh, battleship gimmick. It doesn't have the, the closer you are to the target, the better your dispersion. It has normal dispersion on Russian 16-inch guns. Yeah. So, um, that's the only reason I bought this one. Now, this one is quite expensive. It's $83.00. And that is a lot, but again, it's a tier 9 premium, so there it is. But anyway, we'll, we're going to find out today if it's maybe actually worth that, because again, six, Russian 16-inch guns that can actually get out to, because this ship can fit the range module, he got to like 22 kilometers now. So we're going to check her out and see how she does. So let's go ahead and look at her stats now. And again, it's pretty much a uh, B-hole. I'm sorry, uh, a hole Soyuz. So 80,000 hit points. It has 88. It has 8,000 less hit points than the normal Soyuz. Normal Soyuz has where are you at Soyuz? What 88? Yeah, 88,100. Uh, torpedo protection, damage reduction, 35 percent. I think that's yeah, that's the same as other Soyuz. And again, she has nine 16 inch guns with a 33 second reload time. Now that's something that's also different. She has a four second longer reload time than normal Soyuz. And then secondary battery, again, pretty much the same. Um, except, she, except she still has the 152s that the Soyuz gets replaced. Again, because it's not B hull Soyuz. Uh, a rating of 62, while Soyuz has an A rating of 70, 74, which, you know, A is kind of whatever today, anyways. Uh, max speed of 28 knots, uh, turning circuit radius of 950 meters, rotor shift time of 14 seconds, that's the same on both ships, and um, consumment of 16.2 kilometers base. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and, oh, if you do buy the um, Razia, or however you say it, you do get this nice lady, she's a 10 point commander, um, so you can already have a 10 point commander on your uh, Azure Lane. Russia, have again, however you say it. So I'm going to go ahead and slap modules and give the captain a build, and I'll see you guys in a second. Alright, so I went with uh, Main Armaments Mod 1, Damage Con 1, Aiming Systems Mod 1, Damage Con 2, Concealment, and then Range Mod. And for the captain build, had a bit of Elite Commander XP lying around that I hadn't used in a while, so now. She is a 16-point commander, preventive maintenance, MLG turrets, adrenaline rush, superintendent, concealment expert, and fire prevention. Next three-point skill will go into basics of survivability, standard Soviet uh, battleship survivability build. All right, I'm going to put flags on her, and then we will jump into battle. Oh, let me go over stats again now that uh, the captain skills have been applied. So maximum range is now... Uh, 22.5 kilometers, still have a 33 second reload, um, no big deal there. Concealment is now 13.1 kilometers, so this this is going to be interesting. Alright, I'm going to slap signal flags on her, and then I'll see you guys in battle. I mean, the, sh the ships, the Soyuz uses was, you know, was, you know, in my mind, it was better than the Vladivostok. Um... But I don't know, the dispersion never really worked for me when I was going through it uh, the first time to get to Kremlin. But, um, we'll see how it works now. Hmm. 
Well, that's not great dispersion. It's not... No, actually, that's pretty bad. <laughs> okay, let's see. And I over-aimed. Alright, fantastic. Again, not the best dispersion ever. An overpinned on the Musashi. Come on, Georgia, come out. Come out to play. Don't run away. I think Jutland's about to ruin his day. Just in case he goes. Oh my god, he ran to the island. Which ironically actually saved him. Okay. Um, you know, it was just from four kilometers, but the dispersion did look a lot better. I wonder if they forgot to remove the gimmick. You know, I'm not expecting railgun accuracy at 20 kilometers, but some of these shots have been pretty wild. And it, it could just be RNG saying, no, you can't have nice shots. Because that, that is definitely a thing. Okay, that's a lot better. I mean, still it's from 13 kilometers, which is inside the Russian sweet zone. I love being set on fire every other salvo. Yeah, we're going down here. Ah. <sighs> Okay, so, it doesn't seem to be that much more accurate, um, than the normal Soyuz. Let's see if we can poke this, oh, never mind, he went undetected. I mean, again, like, you know, it's not like it's much, much better. It's a bit better than Soyuz, it seems, but it's not a terribly amount better. It's not like the Slava, you know. And plus, to get it out to this range, you do have to give up four seconds of reload, because you can't take the uh, reload module. Actually, yeah, that time, that that was actually a, a pretty good dispersion. And I said all the FDG. That was a pretty good dispersion at 17 kilometers. But again, it's not fantastic. It's just decent. Ooh, that was a good hit. It's hilarious that I'm undetected right now. What's this Zara doing? He's pretty brave. Not allowed, Zara. Actually, this rune's gonna be our first customer. Stop, so stop, Soyuz. See what I mean? Okay, now I need you to go, Soyuz. Wow! It, okay, no, the overpin. I thought it bounced all that, but see, god dang, Rune! Now you got German armor, but come on. If you're gonna ram me, wow, them torps, though.
Ah, dang it. Oh, the Audrey's going to get him with, with a torp here. Alright. That was obviously a lot better than the first game we had. Okay. Came third on the team. Let's keep going. Okay, that. See, like that, that right there? That's actually good. That's one of the few actually good long range salvos we've had. And it did a decent amount of damage. And. Bonk. That was pretty good. This buffalo is just ow about to take this. Excuse me, Alaska. There we go. Troll Island is troll. Oh, Jesus. What the? Boys, we've been bamboozled. We've been bamboozled hard. Okay, this just got uh, awkward. I wasn't even detected. Where did that even come from? I'm going with 3,000 health left on my ship. Come on. Secondaries, please. It's for the 33 second reload. Oh, come on! Did he get him? Hey! I get to live. Oh, I was gonna get. Yeah, with that HE. There we go. Okay. Huh. Interesting decision making there by that Georgia. <sighs> so I got Dreadnought, got. Devastating strike. Uh, all this is because you get triple XP in the first like couple of missions with the ship, so that's not its normal economy. Don't don't think that that is. Okay, number one on the team. Jeez. All right then. Okay, so the the uh, okay, so the Savetsky Vosaya. It feels like the dispersion is slightly better at longer ranges, and you can't get the range out to twenty two kilometers. But honestly, guys, I don't think it's worth the price it's 80 something dollars 83 dollars for a tier 9 premium version of the Savesky Soyuz it's already in game as a tech line ship so I don't really see the slightly better dispersion at longer at least from what I've seen now I don't know if I just got screwed over by RNG for those games that I played in her or what but normally within a span of three to four games you will get decent dispersion you know if RNG is just screwing you over for a couple of salvos but I think through all of that I got maybe two kind of okay groups at you know 17 kilometers plus 
you know, honestly, I would just stick with the Soyuz guys unless you're a fan of Azure Lane and you just want the ship because it's Azure Lane, then of course that's fine. It's your money. Do what you want with it. But my recommendation is just pass on this one, guys. Um, and the Latoro, too. I know that a lot of you guys, including me, have been waiting for Italian battleships. The Latoro is just a clone of Roma. That's it. It's nothing different. You can't even get her beer can camo to get that incredible economy. You just get the Azure Lane camo for the Latoro. So that's my recommendation recommendation to you guys on this ship. Just pass on it. Um, it again, it's just the Soyuz, but you can get the range out to twenty two kilometers and you can maybe have some decent dispersion every now and then, but right now it's not feeling like it's worth the eight the eighty dollar price tag. So that's my suggestion to you guys. If you enjoyed the video, please drop a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. We are on our way to 15,000 subscribers. As of me recording this, we are very, very, very close to passing 14,000. I cannot thank you guys enough for that. Hope you're having a great Saturday. I hope to catch you guys in the next one.